What's up guys? So today I'm gonna be going out to participate and like see people that have you know been stopped because of immigration and we're gonna go check that out we're gonna go walk around maybe give people some money give people some food for those that do need it because you know we live in a world that just doesn't make sense you know and if it does something doesn't make sense you guys question it okay don't just sit there and be like oh okay just take it in all right you know there's always solutions to everything like i said you know point the problem and there has to be a way to fix it somehow i'll give more information later uh i'm not exactly sure What's this, um, I don't know what's it called, this thing, ah, I don't know what it's called. I'll film some of it when I get there. Peace. So, so I'm just gonna give a really brief, very brief, um, uh, information about the Border Rangers. I know a lot of you already know the story, but if you don't, you can always buy a Border Rangers book <laughs> called The Power of One, and it was written by Ricardo Griswold del Castillo, who's the former, uh, chair, of the San Diego State University Chicano Studies. It's fantastic. This is a great book. I, I, I highly recommend it. It's great for a Father's Day gift, by the way. <laughs> so, um, so I'm Enrique, and I started Border Angels 30 years ago. Uh, I'm very proud of being 100% Mexicano, born in San Diego. I went to grammar school right across the street. I went to Our Lady of Angels, which is right over here on the other side of uh, Market Street. So I'm homegrown. My uh, dad uh, passed away a few years ago. He's from Mexico City. My mom is from Culiacan, Sinaloa. Uh, and my older brother and sister were also born in Mexico. So I was the first one born here. After OLA, I went to St. Augustine High School, thus the purple, purple and gold saints. And uh, then also, then I went to the University of San Diego and then I returned to the University of San Diego to get my master's. In the interim, I used to be in professional baseball I don't know if they're professional anymore. Uh, I, don't, I don't think they're here anymore. San Diego Padres? Oh. <laughs> so I was with the Padres from uh, 1995 to 2001. Um, but I was, uh, but I started the Border Rangers back in 1986. When I started Border Rangers, there was no wall. It was a whole different situation. The fourth thing that happened in 1994 was the United States that in the 1980s had said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Well, in 1994, the United States built their own wall, Operation Gate. And that wall has led to the death of more than 11,000 people. The numbers vary, but whether it's 11,000 or one, these people shouldn't be dying. They shouldn't be dying. No. Marco Antonio Villasenor, a five-year-old boy, crosses. For the number one reason people cross, his dad wanted to feed his family. So he asked his dad for some water. His dad doesn't give him any water. So he asked the next man, the next man, the next man. He asked 18 men. Neither of the men would give the five-year-old boy water. And why not? They were already dead. Marco Antonio Villasenor dies with 18 men on the U.S.-Mexican border. But there's also women that die. Lucrecia Dominguez crosses with a group of people. She brings her two children, Jesus, 15 years old, and Nora, 7. And as she's crossing, the smuggler goes, I told you not to bring them. I told you they were going to slow us down. And Lucrecia Dominguez literally dies in the arms of Jesus, her 15-year-old son, Jesus. So this is happening every day. So what you're going to be doing today by putting water out there could save somebody's life could save somebody's life. We started putting water out there around 1996. Many of you might have seen what we did a couple of months ago when we convinced the Border Patrol for the third time ever, we did the first two as well, to open up the emergency door between San Diego and Tijuana and children hug their deported parents. Sometimes for the first time in a long time, sometimes the grandparent for the first time. So we do that at April 30th. Uh, we do a, we've, we've, we've been uh, involved in organizing these massive marches and so on and so forth. So we're doing a lot of different types of things. Hundred people watching it just this morning. So that shows you the power of social media. Eight hundred thousand people saw that Al Jazeera video from last uh, last month. Eight hundred thousand people that are either interested in doing something like this, or will talk to their friends, will talk to their family. You know, this is really, really important that we get the message out there. So please, while you're out there, you know, like us on Facebook if you don't already. I'm sure everyone already has. Find us on Instagram. Take as many photos as you can. Uh, email them to me, admin, that is A-D-M-I-N, at borderangels.org. Uh, let me know if you want photo credit, if you do I'll throw it in the album. 
If you want to be anonymous, then be anonymous, that's fine. The more photos that we get up there, the more people we get next week. I've done a quick head count, I think we have 90 plus people here today, so that's a really great turnout. Not quite as big as last time, but really good. So if you are interested in any other of our activities and see how you can help more as a volunteer and how you can get more active, Wednesday at 6 p.m. we're having a meeting here in this building upstairs. So if you're interested in learning more, come here Wednesday 6 p.m. and I'll be here. Um, otherwise, if you can't make it, just email me at volunteer at borderangels.org and I'll be happy to um, assist you. So we're, what we're doing simply is just carrying some bottles that's really close to the border and we are dropping them off just random areas for example like right there or right there you know for future people that pass by maybe like crossing the border that don't have any papers or anything like that so it's for people like them people are dropping their last bottles of water right around here in this area so that people can pick this up so one of the symptoms you start getting is that <clears throat> Once your body starts overheating, it starts to feel like it has just chills. And that's meaning that it has dehy you're dehydrated pretty much. <clears throat> so now just to think that these people don't have like a, an ounce of water. <laughs> Sorry if I can't speak very well, it's because I'm out of breath and I'm dehydrated. Anyways, if you guys want to check this out, it's called Border Angels, a little non-profit organization just to come out here and you know deliver some water for the people that are crossing the border, you know. The sky is the limit. I'm probably, I'm probably gonna, gonna get skinnier as I already am, but I have to film somewhat. I am so exhausted. I haven't been this exhausted in a while. So we just finished the, um, we just finished the uh, Border Angels uh, walkthrough, uh, the water drop, and that's what it's called. And. Uh, well, we succeeded. We dropped off a lot of water for the people that don't have it, the ones that are crossing the border illegally, that don't have, you know, papers, and um, 
for those that don't make it pretty much we, we gave them water and we went out there and uh, yeah it's, it's a really good organization oh. if you guys want to be included in some type of volunteering this is a perfect way to do it if you guys want to do that my battery is running low but I'll speak a little faster uh, I'm completely drained you guys have no clue and these two also my sister and her friend we are completely drained the water ran out like this faster than we thought. Uh, our sugar levels went down completely, that's for sure, because I'm not feeling myself. I haven't felt this way and I don't think ever, I don't think ever, to be honest, because uh, I've stopped working out and um, I didn't think it was going to be this hard, to be honest, because I'm a pretty um, athletic guy, but, um, but that doesn't prove anything. I mean, if you're not ready and if you're not, you know, prepared, then this is going to be a hell of a walk for you. Um, but overall, it's a perfect, it's a, it's a well organization that recognizes those that don't make it crossing the border and those that die, and it's the truth, you know, and, and I think a lot of the media don't, doesn't show that, so I'm definitely gonna, you know, um, you know, uh, edit this whole thing the right way and, and try to give as much as information for you guys to see what this is all about, and, um, this, and it's, it's not that new, but, uh, the creator of this, uh, Border Border Angels. His name is Enrique. He should be in the video more early in the videos. Um, you guys should see him speak about um, you know the people from Honduras that lost their limbs trying to cross on um, trying to cross borders on the beast they call it, which is a big train that causes many borders. And uh, yeah, it's an incredible story. If you guys want to check it out, um, it's called they're called the uh, Border Angel. I can't even speak right now because I feel really bad uh, to be honest. Uh, it's a, a hell of an experience for sure if you guys want to come out and uh, see a, a completely new culture, a completely new world for these people, you know. And to be honest, none of us are prepared for any of this. And I will see you guys later. hope you guys liked the video. Please subscribe. Please like the video. Uh, I try my best to film out there. I was super tired. I tried. I had to carry a lot of stuff with me. And I'm really dehydrated. So, um, peace out guys.